Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I've added in stairs and slaps, windows, walls, and uh, fences, and you can make them out of any solid node in the world. So if it has the same draw type as a regular node, it will be able to be turned into one of these objects. So to place regular, you just place it, place it upside down, you sneak place it, same with the slabs and the slabs have a logic as in if the node would be filled in the way it looks it will fill in and let me just show you what that means let me get some more dirt slabs there's somewhere in here really gonna organize this list later on there we go So you can kind of see what I'm saying. So instead of them just having to be placed like this, to make a full slab, you can place them in any direction, even on corners. And of course the regular type works too, and so does upside down. So they work very well. You can also negate that pattern by just shift clicking. which works pretty well too. So with the fences they hold the properties of their object that they're from or the node that they're from I mean and all these do but the fences look the coolest so like if I have a falling node it'll become part of the the fence which looks kinda cool. So I got this big sand staircase which leads to nowhere got this weird looking staircase here. Then I have the windows and the windows are kind of difficult to place right now. Uh, let me get them real quick because their collision box is kind of specific but I remember Minecraft being like this too so hopefully I can improve this a bit. I'm thinking about making the collision box a fixed size no matter what so it's easy to work with. But you can make cool designs like this. Also, I fixed a bug, thanks to Tex-Mex for showing me this. Uh, pistons no longer crash the game. And I tested it on everything else too. And it works perfectly now. So, I also upgraded the doors. What I did was I have an open state and a closed state for the door. And it works for the button too. And you'll notice how there's an open and a closed sound which is specific, it's not randomized. So let's just break this and put a closure here to this doorway. So if you listen carefully. Then you can just tell audibly when it's opening and when it's closing. Also you can't right click iron doors. They have to be toggled on by redstone. Here's just some random stuff I was messing around with. Here's the walls. So whoever makes something like this must be like just a crazy miner. They gotta be like a thousand nodes underground. <laughs> so to contrast that I put some slabs up and I built a little slab pyramid which is really easy to build. And so let's just go walk up the uh, slabs. Now we're on top of everything. Let's see if I can make the jump. Ooh, let's see if I can sneak bug. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> Sometimes I can sneak bug. So that's just a collision error with the engine, but that's not a problem. So let me just show you how easy it is to actually build something like this. I don't know, let's just start off like that. Add a little here, a little there. Notice that there's no like jitter that you can see because um, it's calculating 
what it's going to be placed as before it's placed. So let's build the inverse of that. So that's about two and a half high. Maybe one, two, no, it's too high. So let's do, let's do this. So as you can see, it's super easy to work with. It's like, it actually makes building with slabs fun. I remember in Minecraft, this used to, this used to be super frustrating to make stuff like this. So I like kept reprogramming it before I pushed it to GitHub to make sure it worked properly. And I think I got it down to the point where people will really have fun using half slabs. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any ideas, feel free to tell me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. And nope, looks like I showed you guys everything. So peace out.